Hello and welcome to Zim Docs. I am Dr. Abstract. In this docs we're going to take a look at the circle, rectangle, and triangle all at once. Woo! Zim site at zimjs.com and then we'll click on docs and we will arrive here. Down below there's the circle, the rectangle, and the triangle right there. Circle, rectangle, triangle. Let's open up the circle. These are Zim shapes that are all uh, a an actual actually a container with a shape inside. So there's the Zim shape right here, Ooh, right there. And rather than make a, a rectangle, circle, and triangle using the graphics property, which you can do, you can and then set fills and strokes and stuff. We've made that easier. We've abstracted some of that and uh, put it into parameters here, so that that can all be done with just a new circle, new rectangle, new triangle, that type of thing. So we've opened this up. It extends a Zim container. Now we tend not to use these as containers. What we've done is we have their containers, yes, but we've set their mouse children to false. Otherwise, if you were to drag a circle, you would end up dragging the circle shape inside the container and the container would be left sort of where it is, <laughs> an X and Y of whatever you would put this, the original circle at. And that would start to get confusing. If that confuses you, <laughs> I'm sorry, don't worry about it. Uh, we tried to make it less confusing by making sure that when you grab this thing, you are grabbing the whole container. So, if you go and try and cheat and put things into a circle or put things into a rectangle or a triangle, you may not be able to click on them like you can in normal containers. So you can see it's a container, yes, but it is a container with the mouse children turned off. So if you do want to put things into a rectangle, eh, for some reason, then you're welcome to turn the mouse children back on and you can then treat it just as a normal container with a bunch of stuff in it and a Zim shape in the background. <laughs> okay, but for the most part, we tend to think of these circle rectangles and triangles as not containers, and that might be better off. Just make your own container to start, put a rectangle in it, there you go, continue on. <laughs> All right. So we have a new circle and the parameters are yeah, fairly traditional. I'm not too worried about you not understanding this. <laughs> only, only worried about you not understanding the not, not, nots that we're using. <laughs> okay. So here's the radius of a circle, uh, yet with a rectangle you get, oh brother, I don't know if it's that long. With a rectangle you get a width and a height and a triangle you get three sides, A, B, C. And then the rest is pretty well the same. The color, the border color, the border width, um, whether you want it cornered, no, all the rectangles like that, the other ones aren't. Triangle gets this centering thing. It's tricky with a triangle because the actual uh, bounds center, it will be down lower and you sometimes want to, or is it up higher? I can't remember which way it is actually, but if you spin the triangle, it looks awkward. So we have a way of adjusting that and you can, do that here and whether you want it centered. And so uh, the triangles have a few extra things for for those reasons. But anyway, other than that, uh, most, most of the parameters are the same. Okay, so looking up at the circle here, uh, one thing that isn't included in the parameters is the ability to set a gradient on these things. And that has to be done afterwards. So that's one of the tricky things that I want to show you here in talking about the docs. So we're going to get a circle. That's great. Here's an example, new circle. Well, why don't we why don't we copy these things here and put them into some code and we can see the color highlighting. So I'm in the Zim template here, Zim 10.3, I think it is. And there we are making a circle. We'll comment that out like so and see what this circle looks like. Open in browser. Ooh, it is indeed a red circle. Now we don't need to do it in the two steps there. We can say dot center. Looks like that's a little bit old. We might want to update that. Dot center, we don't even have to say on stage because now Zim treats a Zim default stage as your stage. If you do make another frame, then you would need to do that. We're not dragging it. Okay, if you make a, a two frames, if you've got two things on a page or something, you may need to specify that you uh, want to add this to a specific stage. Otherwise, it takes the first stage made and automatically adds it. 
Here we have a color. Of course, you could use the Zim colors, red, and we can make this 500 pixels. That's a radius, so this will be now quite big. And there she be quite big. Okay, uh, there's also a border that can be put on there and that kind of thing. All right, let's bring this one in. Here is a circle. Oh, and we were going to set the color command on it. Okay, so here's a color with a border and a border size, and then we're using circle.color command. Now, I think there's also a border color command, and maybe even a fill color command. I, I can't remember, or a dash color command. Um, uh, maybe we could take a look at that. And this one is a radial gradient going from yellow to green, 0% to 0.7%. That means around the edges you'll have more green. And then this positions it starting at the middle. And I can't remember what these ones do. <laughs> You'll have to look it up. So those one, all this gradient stuff is available on the CreateJS docs under the fill and gradient fill and or well under graphics and shape and that kind of thing. So let's see what that does. We refresh here and we get nothing. Did we add it to the stage? No, we didn't. Oh. That might be something we would do to in the docs then. Dot center. We'll center that one. I'll go update the docs after this. And there she be. So there's our, our border. And there's the gradient on the inside of that circle. Shall we make it bigger? Make it bigger. We might have to change that. I don't, know, I don't bother. Um, and then we can also make half circles. So that's new. Being able to make semicircles. Not, not only half circles. Any a percent of a circle. So we refresh this, and there she be. Um, that's half. If you don't want half, you could say 30% of the circle, and then you get this refresh, less of the circle. So it keeps the same radius, but takes less of the circle. Note what it's doing on doing with the bounds there. Dot uh, outline. Any of uh, the Zim display methods, you can dot outline and you can see what is happening. It keeps the center of it in the center, but the bounds now are around that. So when we center it, it ignores this, and it centers the bounding rectangle, as you would have mentioned if you sort of hide that, you can see that, oh, now my half circle is centered. But it does keep the origin, that's on the inside, and the registration point, the round circle, uh, down here where it is for the original circle. I think I think that makes the most sense probably and that's why we did it that way. Take a look at this. So out on Zim there was, uh, should we show you the live version or the picture? What do you want to see? Live version or picture? Everybody wants to see the live version. So we'll go under examples and somewhere in here we see some domes. Oh yes, here they are domes. This is what we made. <laughs> Impressive. There we go. That's better. This is what we made when we introduced the half circle. Isn't that beautiful? Change the view on this to a full page view. That's <laughs> not very full page. Okay, full page. It wasn't full screen as I expected. So there we have a bunch of different views of our circles at different percentages uh, making these cool looking sci-fi domes. This is how, oh, isn't that neat? With parallax and tiling. So we're tiling these things and using parallax on them tiling. Nice, huh? So that's circle. Badoop. Anything to say about the rectangle? Rectangles have uh, corners, so that might be something to take a look at. Let's open this up and we'll grab one of these rectangles. And pop it into here. Get rid of all this circle stuff. Bye-bye, circle stuff. Everybody still with me? Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully I haven't been too goofy. I don't know. I seem to be in a bit of a giggly mood. <laughs> so there's a rectangle. We haven't put that on the stage. Dot. We'll center it. We don't have to. Now, one thing to notice, uh, if you're new to Zim, you may not know this, but there's a thing called the registration point. We saw it before. Circles have the registration points in the middle. Rectangles have the registration points in the corner, so why don't we at the same time outline this and we can see. The last one, we really only brought in the outline when, oops, we only brought in the outline when we were doing those semicircles. Open in browser, that should do her. 
There it is. Oh, this one has a corner on it. So there's the registration point in the top left. And unfortunately, what that means is when we rotate it, dot, rot, or scale it, Forget that dot, I said it, but we didn't put it in there, 45. So if we're rotating this or scaling it, it rotates and scales around the registration point. So as we scale this twice as big, it'll also scale from that. And if we were to say animate this, around, then it would animate and spin around the registration point. It would not look very good. So probably what you want to do there then is center reg. So, hmm. Center T-Rex. Center Reg. That centers the registration point, centers it on the stage, and, and adds it to the stage as well. Three things all in one. Wow, we used to do three steps for that. So there it is, center regged, and now you can see that this remains centered, the, this thing, and it starts spinning around the registration point. So do you want to see that spin? <laughs> Everybody wants to see it spin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Mr. Clairvoyant today, huh? Uh, we will dot roll, nope, dot animate this. Uh, we already had one of those. And, well, we'll just do one. So that we, I can put in the squiggly brackets here and say, rotation colon 360. Well, how about we, we go twice around? What's that? 720. And in some amount of time, two seconds. You ready? Refresh. Boo, 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 boo. But did it start with a strange rotation already? Oh, it did. 45. So that's what a centered reg rotation looks like. Let's try again. Okay. Here is what a centered but not center regged rotate looks like. And I think you'll see the difference. <laughs> Okay, it's a little bit goofy. If you're wanting to do a windmill, you can, or something like that. Ah, uh, reg, there. So that's a little bit about registration points. You can also set the registration point to anything you want with dot reg, and again, uh, oh, round brackets. And you can pass in the registration for X and the registration for Y, there. Scale does the same thing. We don't want to scale it though to 720. We'll scale it to three times as big in that amount of size and we refresh here. There it is scaling up uh, from the middle. And if we didn't do that uh, one more time, ah, goes the reg and we refresh here, we'll refresh. Then it scales from the top left corner. Now we're doing Take away the animation. We've got a corner of 20. Corner can also be an array of things. So you could say 20, comma, 0, comma, 0, comma. Oh, well, we'll go, we'll go 20 there as well. And then 0 on the end. And maybe we'll make it even bigger. So these two 20s will turn to 40. So we can really see them. And I don't like blue, bad, but I'll take a Zim blue. Refresh. I have an aversion to whatever that is, deep blue. And there we go. So the first corner is at 40, the next one is at zero, and you can start making shapes like that. Uh, same with buttons as well. Uh, we can do that with buttons. All right, that's a rectangle. Uh, there's dashed as well. Dashed, colon, true, comma. Mm, I think that's what we put. Just say that it is dashed. Oh, we need a border. Erp. Oh, we need a border. Do we have one? Nope. Uh, border color colon red comma and it'll be dashed and we refresh and there we go there's your dashed corner there may be ways to affect uh, or change what that dashed is but if you really want to change it maybe you have to make your own custom rectangle with a zoom shape but I can't remember cool huh triangle not too much to say about a triangle it's the same is that okay <laughs> You get mad at me. You came to the docks to, to see what's going on. Actually, there are some things going on with the triangle. So, all right, we'll take a look at a triangle. <laughs> Just feel like I've been here a long time. Uh, new triangle, but there are some tricky bits. Uh, <laughs> so tricky, I'm not sure I remember what they are. Well, let's just get a normal triangle on there and see what the default triangle looks like. All of these will default to black, by the way. There she be, a triangle. So if you want that to point to the right, 
which sometimes you do. Dot wrote. Don't kill yourself making a difficult triangle. Just dot wrote. What do we have to wrote? 45? 90? Uh, I can't remember. I can't think. <laughs> there! That's what we wanted. I would think that's 90. <laughs> How about you? But if we want to point upwards to the right, like to the top right corner, that's how you would do it. <laughs> I'm so brain dead. It's my nap time. That's what I'm claiming. There we go. Pointing right. Uh, could you point it to the left? Yeah, that would be a negative 90 or a 270. Okay, so that's one thing about a triangle, but what else can a triangle do? If you say 90, 60... <laughs> Or 9606, uh, 906060. 60. Then let's see what this triangle looks like and if we can even make it. Uh, sometimes you can't make triangles. Oops. Did I save that? I did. Save and 906060. 60. What went wrong? 906060. 60. Is it telling me it can't do it? F12. Sometimes it does that. No, it just made a normal triangle. So, uh, what the heck? Oh, <laughs> that's my rotation. Okay. Uh, if we pass in 90, 60, 60, we won't do any rotation. 90, 60, 60, let's see what happens. Sometimes you pass in things that you can't make. If one of the lines, if this line were too big, or yeah, too big, and these ones don't add up to the, at least that line, you won't be able to make the triangle. It will give you a message saying that. Shall we see what that looks like? Say we said 190, 60, 60. Then we would get this message. Refresh. No triangle. And then this little message up here. I just found out I think I can make this go bigger. Except it's not working. Okay, so Zim display, triangle, invalid triangle lengths comes up. So watch that if, uh, if you don't. Let's try that again. 90. And this time we'll go uh, 160, 160. Can it make that? I think so. 90 is the base, and then 160, 160 are two long things shooting up into the sky. Ouch! I would not want to land on that. Okay, so that's uh, how triangles go, but there are ways, and I can't remember, I think we go negative one like that, and I believe this makes a right angle triangle. Refresh, and it does, and if you wanted it the other way, you could do uh, dot ska, negative one, one. And what that does is it flips it in the horizontal, but does not flip it in the vertical. And then you've got a triangle that looks like that flipped. Okay, for a 90 degree triangle. I uh, can't remember if we just put in one thing here. I think it makes it nice, uh, whatever that's, tr uh, equilateral triangle of those things. So if I type in 139, <laughs> yes, that's what I wanted to do. If we type in 139 there and refresh here, this probably has 139 by 139 by 139. Ooh, how fancy is that for when you need to do that? Okay. There, oops. <laughs> And all these things, by the way, we didn't even have to store in a variable unless we want to use it later. And this is the object. We're scaling it. We're centering it. Hey, no problem. If you want to hover that, by the way, you can do something like dot alp point five dot hug. And that gets us a quick hover. I think that defaults to one. Let's see if it does. And we refresh here off and comes back on so it, it's now being treated like a hoverable thing and if we want to tap on it dot tap you can put in your function and we will uh, go to http colon slash slash zim zom zim js dot com All right you ready we refresh here and hey, let's let's go up. And we're at zimjs.com where we can end this docs. Whoop, doo, 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 doo. There we go. Dr. Abstract for Zim Docs. And if you would like to come in and complain about this docs entry, you're welcome to join us at Slack, zimjs.com slash slack. And <laughs> You can give me an angry face. Oh, yes. 
Uh, we'd love to hear from you and all the best <laughs> from rectangles, triangles, and circles. Woohoo!